Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum friends and subscribers. This is Mehmoo Sheikh and today I am going to start a new tutorial series on developing a CRUD application using Yee framework. Okay, Yee is one of the PHP's MVC framework which is uh, based on model view controller uh, architecture and Yee stands for yes it is okay and the version we are going to discuss in this tutorial series is 2 okay uh, the second version of Yee okay so we will try to learn the basic concepts of ye uh, framework by developing a crud application okay uh, i have done many tutorials on many frameworks of php uh, like uh, MVC code igniter uh, cake PHP Laravel symphony and this the, and this one uh, now I'm going to start a tutorial series on ye as well okay so in this uh, with this tutorial series you will be going to learn some of the basic concepts of ye so you will learn how to uh, interact with our database how to perform basic operations like reading the entire data from the database and uh, displaying a single record adding a record into the database updating and deleting the record okay so uh, so with this uh, crud application we are going to build in this uh, complete video tutorial series with the help of which we will be going to learn uh, some of the basic concepts of ye okay so now this is the application that we are going to create in this complete tutorial series okay so i have already created this application and in this uh, and in this uh, tutorial series we will going to learn how to download uh, ye framework how to install it in our local host and then how to configure how to connect it with, uh, with our database php mysql uh, so mysql uh, admin and then we will uh, we will do some basic concepts like uh, creating reading updating and deleting records which is crud okay so uh, so the the application i have already created and now let us uh, take a look of our uh, application crud application okay so this is you can see this is our home page okay so here at the top you will see the title e2 crud application tutorial and here in a table i have displayed all the table records all the all the records that is that has been fetched from the database okay so now if i want to create a new uh, record then i have to click on this create then i'll be redirected to some other form where i'll be uh, entering the title like cake php and then i will uh, write some description okay i'll take the description from here okay and then i'll put it here and you, you can see if i try to submit the form without entering or selecting uh, any in anything um, any information in any of the text box or text area then it will throw me an error okay so, um, so uh, i have i have worked with the validation as well okay so let's select uh, category as mvc and now i will click on create post so you can see uh, i got a message as post published successfully and at the same time you can see this post is start displaying in our uh, in our table inside home page okay so if you want to see the same record in our database then let's go to our database and if i uh, refresh our post okay so now you can see uh, this kick php was uh, is uh, uh, present in the database also, okay in the database as well okay so uh, let me just delete this okay now you can uh, you can see the kick php record is deleted from the database now i'm not, not having that record in my database table and now i will refresh this okay again i will go to my create form and now i will be trying to submit the form without entering any information in any of the text boxes so let's see what it will show see it's returning the errors okay so let's type kick php and then description i select the category okay now i will again click on create post and then you can see the post which i have created just now it start displaying on our table and uh, also saved inside our database table okay see uh, this is how we can create a post and now if i want to view that post then i have to click on this particular button view 
then you can see i can clearly see that particular post okay so then if i click on this go back link then i'll be i'll be redirected to my home page and if i want to update this post let's see okay so the application let's delete some of the text okay and then let's change it to cms okay just for the sake of example and now if i click on update then you will see uh, the um, or tie our description gets updated with the new description and uh, this this one is previously mvc and now i have changed or I have updated it to cms okay now our update update functionality is also working fine and now if i want to delete any of the post then i just have to click on this delete button okay so you can see the post that i have added just few seconds back that post gets deleted successfully and if i go to table and now you can see there is a record with a name called as cake php and now if i want to uh, if i am um, if i refresh the that uh, post will get deleted okay so this is the complete uh, demo of our application that we are going to create in uh, in this complete tutorial series okay so now let us uh, uh, see how we can download our e2 framework okay so for downloading e framework you need to go to google and then you need to type in e to download and the very first link in the google search you will uh, get the link for downloading okay so just click on that link and then you will be redirected to some uh, the other page which is this okay so now uh, scroll down and then you will uh, find a place where it has been written that install from an archive file okay so uh, just click on the first link okay so y2 with advanced application template okay so in this uh, package you will get some advanced functionality of g2 okay so we will discuss about this advanced uh, uh, concepts or advanced um, application template in later tutorials okay so just now since we are uh, since this is the first uh, basic tutorial series so we will be stick with the basic application template okay so if you click on this link then uh, the e2 basic application template will get downloaded okay so which i have already downloaded and i have kept it uh, this on my desktop okay see this is the package or the file you will get okay so you just have to extract it okay and then just right click on it and then click on this extract here and then you will get this folder okay so once you get this folder then just copy this so i'll just uh, copy and then i will go to i will go to my c drive okay now i'm on my my computer computer section and i will go to c drive and inside c drive i will go to xamp and then in, inside xamp i will go to htdocs and here i am going to paste my folder okay so i'll just paste it okay it's uh, it will take some time because the size of the file is 61.1 mb okay now you can see our project has been uh, moved to our local host which is htdocs and now let's rename this folder to e crud okay so now uh, we have moved our folder and we have renamed our project folder so now let's go to our browser and then open it inside our browser okay now i'm on my browser and then let's come here and then let's change it to e crud okay type the 127.0.0.1 which is local host and then the name of our project which we have created just few seconds back and then you have to refer to your folder with web okay and then hit enter okay now it's uh, uh, giving you an error saying that cookie validation key must be configured with a secret okay so we have to fix this issue okay so for that we need to go to our editor and then let's open our project just click on uh, click on file and then click on open folder and then go to htdocs okay and then come at the bottom and then this is the project which we have created just few seconds back now i will select that project okay and i will close this okay now you need to go to inside config inside config go to web.php file and here you can see the file uh, the uh, a section called as cookie valid validation key there you need to put some random key okay okay now just save it and now 
refresh the page and now you can see we have got the home page of our uh, e application okay so that error has gone and we have successfully uh, installed uh, our e project in our uh, local host server local server okay so um, it has uh, some basic templates uh, like uh, home about okay and then contact okay and then login functionalities okay so but in this uh, tutorial series we will be writing the code by ourselves and then we and we will be developing a CRUD functionality okay so now uh, okay so this is uh, everything about uh, uh, an introduction of our uh, eCrud application and uh, downloading e framework and then installing it in our local host or local server okay so i hope you like this video i hope you got some useful information out of this video if you like this video subscribe to our channel click on like button and share it with your friends and in my next video i will see you guys in my next video where i'll be explaining uh, um where i'll be uh, discussing with you how to change our home page layout okay uh, to display exactly the way uh, what i have show what i have what i had shown you at the very beginning of this tutorial which was our CRUD application okay so which is okay so let's one point seven okay okay yes this one so we need to change our home page uh, or our index page or the layout of our home page to something like this okay which we will be going to do in our next video and don't go anywhere guys i will see you guys see you guys in my next video and thanks for watching